Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with lesson number 35 on learning how to use the Arduino and we're going to be talking more about functions and specifically we're going to be talking about how to pass parameters to and from a function. Now in lesson 34 and I believe lesson 32 we showed that you could do it with global variables or we showed that it's very easy to pass a lot of parameters down to a function but we're going to talk a little bit today about how to get the uh, get more values from the function back up to the calling command. So what I need you to do is pour yourself a nice strong cup of coffee and I need you to fire up a nice fresh empty uh, Arduino IDE and then I am going to move out of your way. So we're going to start and we're going to kind of start doing it the simple way with global variables and then we know that global variables is a very very bad programming practice and we're going to show how to go from global variables which is a bad way to do it to move it to what's called passing by reference which is really the right way to do it. So let's just create a very simple task. Let's say that I'm going to have two numbers and I want a function to create the sum and I want a function to create the difference. So I will come over here and we need how many variables? We need four. And let's say they could be floats. So I'm going to say float A. That could be the first number. Float B. That could be the second number. Float C. That could be the sum. And float D. That could be the difference. Then in our void setup, we will need to start the serial monitor. So serial.begin 9600 the old faithful 9600 and then what we will want here is we will need to input a and b from the user how do we do that we ask we wait we read and so we will say serial.println we're asking for the number please enter your first number and then we've asked now what do we do wait so we say serial or while serial dot available open close parentheses equal equals zero open curly close curly so this is saying you ask them for the number and you just sit in loop until they give you the number and then after they give you the number then you what you read it and it's the first number so it's a a is equal to serial dot it's a float, so we're going to parse float. Now we want to do the same thing for B, and so I'm just going to kind of copy and paste these lines of code because that's going to be the easiest way to do it. So then here, after I paste it, instead of A, this is going to be B, and then it's going to be, please enter your second number. And so now at this point, I should have what? I should have A and I should have B. And so then I'm going to create a function. What's my function going to be called? It's going to be called tally. And then it's going to be A and B. I'm going to pass tally A and B. And then what am I going to do? Serial.print the sum of your numbers is... So that, and then we will print the sum serial dot print ln, and now we're going to print the sum, which should be c, and then uh, serial dot print the difference of your numbers is, and then serial dot print ln. D. How many mistakes did I make? Have you been watching? You're probably screaming at me already. So let's just write it. This is just a simple, okay, ooh, we've got to, uh, we've got to define tally. Where do we define it? After the void loop. So we will come down here, and we're not using return, so how do we define it? With void, it's a void function. What's the function called? Tally. And then what do I pass it? Or, or, uh, 
Here on tally, I'm using global variables, so I don't even need to do that. I just call tally and then uh, open curly. And then what do I do? I say uh, C is equal to B plus A and then D is equal to uh, A minus B. And let's just for good form make this A plus B. A plus B. So what does this do? It's going to ask the user for A. It's going to ask the user for B. It's going to call tally. Tally does not return anything. And so tally just says T is A plus B and D. Uh, C is A plus B and D is A minus B. So let's just see if that's going to work. Okay, it wants to save something. All this nonsense. Ooh, what is it not like? Did not put a quote there. Hopefully you saw that. Uh, serial print line. Ooh, man, I am just not doing good here, huh? Didn't close my parentheses. Didn't close my parentheses. It's, that's the problem with copying and pasting. You copy and paste your mistakes. And then uh, doesn't lie. Ah, no colon there. I hope you guys are screaming at me. I'm just in a hurry because I want to get to the main part of the lesson. So let's look. Please enter your first number is 3. My second number is 2. And then it says the sum of your numbers, 3 plus 2 is 5, the difference of your numbers is 1. So you can see the easiest way to use functions is to use global variables. But this is a very poor way to program because as you start using more and more functions, what if there's another function that just happens to use the variable C for something else and then it just throws your program all off? And so the best practice is to not use global variables. We use local variables. So how do we do that? We take these and we don't put them up top. We put them where we're going to use them. Where are we going to use them? We're going to use them in the void loop. Okay. Like that. So now the void loop knows what A, B, C, and D is and it inputs them. But now what is the problem? Tally now does not know what A, B, C, and D are. So how do we get those local variables A, B, C, D down into tally? Well, you pass them within the parentheses of the call. A, B, C, D. Now down here, I'm throwing numbers at tally. What does tally need to do? It needs to catch them. It needs to catch how many? Four. So let's put some variables here to catch them. And because down here it doesn't know the declarations, you've got to declare them within the parentheses. So I'm going to say uh, float. And you can use different numbers. Instead of A, that was what? First num and then float second num and then float uh, C was the sum and then float, uh, float difference. And then what do we do here? Well, we better use the variables that we named them. So we're going to say uh, sum is equal to first num plus second num. And then difference is equal to first num minus second num. So this should be pretty good, right? So let's go ahead and print those out here in the void, uh, in the void uh, uh, tally. So I'm going to say serial, serial .ln. I'm not. I'll just print these. You know what they are to save some time. Serial.println difference. So look, I'm printing them down here inside of tally and then I'm going to print them up here as well. So let's see what happens here. Looks like it's going to be happy. I call it up. 
please enter your first number, 3. Please enter your second number, 2. Now look, it has 5 and 1. So this was the print here. So it prints the sum as 5, and then it prints the difference as 1. So, But look at this. It worked down here in the print, and it didn't work up there in the print. Do you see where it says this print serial print line sum? It printed 5, serial print line difference. It printed 1. But then these numbers did not make it back up to this call. So you can see the problem when you call a function like this, tally A, B, C, D, it passes the numbers down, and then tally catches them, and then tally can work with them, and tally can print them, but those changed values for float and difference did not come back up into C and D. So when you just call A, B, C, and D, and you catch them float, first num, second num, it's passing this way. It's not passing this way. How do we fix that? We need to pass by reference, where we're referencing it. It's like saying, I'm going to catch them, and then I'm going to throw them back to you. How do we get tally to throw these back up to C and D? Well, do I want to pass first num back up? No, I don't change first num. Do I want to change uh, pass second num back up? No. What do I want to pass up? Sum. How do I tell it to pass it back when it's done? It's kind of like pass the potatoes. Okay, pass the potatoes back. You see, you pass them and you pass them back. How do you pass them back? You put the and only down here. So what is this saying? Tally, you not only want to calculate sum and difference, but that and says pass them back to C and D. So let's see what happens there. Things are looking good. Please enter your first number, 3. Please enter your second number, 2. Boom! What happened? Okay, you serial print line sum here. You got a 5 serial print line difference here. You got a 1. And then it says the sum of your numbers is 5. What happened? What happened? Let me make this smaller so we can see it. No want to get any smaller. Okay, let's look at what happened. A, B, C, D passed A, B, C, D to first num, second num, sum, and difference. And then, because we have this and here, it's saying whatever changes this function makes to sum and difference, sum will go back into C, and difference will be, go back into D. And I'll tell you, I really like using this more than using the return uh, technique that we showed in lesson number 34, because when I do a function, a lot of times I'm messing with more than one variable. And so what I like to do is I like to pass by reference, which is what we've learned today. Okay. I would love hearing from you guys. Does this make sense? I could have done a real short one just showing you how to do this, but I kind of wanted to build it up. We can do things with global variables, or we can do things by local variables and pass parameters within the parentheses of the function call. But if we do that and we want to return things back up, the things that we return back up, we need to put the and down in the function in, in front of them. Would really love to hear you guys' comments. Think about giving us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to the channel, maybe sharing this on your social media with other people so we can get more people excited and using the Arduino. Paul McWhorter, TopTechBoy.com. I will talk to you guys later.